Welcome to the Glass City Grind. I am Cheryl. And I'm Derek. Well, Happy New Year. It is a wonderful new year, isn't we have, it? It's, it's been great so far. We took like a week or so off. So yeah. this is our first show of the new year. So we're excited to be back. Very happy to be back. Can I just say right now, I'm all about your sweater. You like the sweater? I love your sweater. I hate to say this, but it's kind of, there's something about it It's like almost sexy. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on TV? I would hope so. <laughs> I mean, nothing by that except it's very handsome. I well, love it. Well, thank you. I'll accept that. And you look very beautiful as well. Oh, my God. Stop the madness. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to talk about what's going on this week so this far. This week. Okay. This past week, um, we got the Golden Globes. I didn't watch the Golden Globes. I mean, we didn't get the Golden Globes. Yeah, well. <laughs> we weren't nominated. We should have been nominated. <laughs> Let's have our own awards. We win. Yes, <laughs> but the Golden Globes was huge this year. Okay. Something we discussed before was, you know, the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. um, the fashion. Now, I heard that Oprah said something that got everybody all flared up. Okay. Was this at the Golden Globes? Yeah. Okay, it's all over social media, but I have no idea what she said. What were you doing? Working? You're uninvolved yeah, in Golden knows? Globes? Yeah, who knows? I was working, I'm sure. <laughs> um, first of all, all things Oprah. Are you kidding? Oprah is just... Is she still hot? Oh my gosh, she's... And you know, she has been, like we have discussed back on her grind of getting fit yes. and healthier. So she looked, she just looked a little more energized. Okay. She, everybody was in black, so she wore black and- Oh, she's doing those Weight Watcher commercials. She's doing so. the Weight Watchers commercials. Yeah. And she, if you follow her, you can see like her Instagram and her post of when she's cooking and what she's gonna decide, because she really likes good So she's actually food. doing what they promote? She's doing what they promote. I love it. So anyway, she, she, first of all, she was gorgeous. And you know, I'm in love with Oprah and Stedman. Because okay. I think he's handsome. I think their whole connection I is I met great. him one time. You're kidding. He's like 6'8". And I shook his hand. And his hand was like, and I'm 6'3". I got big hands. His hand like engulfed my hand. You met Stedman? Yeah, at a baseball game. Oh my gosh. Was he nice? He was, well, I met him. Hi, how are you? And that was, you know, so sure yeah. I pick up. He would, yeah, at least he, he shook nice. your hand. He was nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I love them. And Oprah, which basically, back to your question, was really promoting just the diversity of where the world has come and reminding us, even from her being like the first black female to get the award that she okay. won, which I don't want to say it wrong, so maybe the guys will put that on screen for me, but she won a major award, like Sydney Portier was Oh, the she won an award, and she was giving a speech after she won the award? Yes. Okay. For being in a movie or for being a no, good person? No, it's like a what? lifetime. It's like an achievement. Lifetime achievement. Got you. So she, um, you know, talked about that. Didn't she also with the Me Too movement talking about how you have a voice mm -hmm. and you know not to be held to your secrets and you're as strong as your voice and power. She always promotes power, you, and positivity. Excellent. Now people are kind of buzzing like maybe she would run for president. She would run for president. President O. President. Oh, I like that. Hashtag it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Oprah was amazing, so you know, we loved that. Okay. Also, can we um, talk about, you know, Katie Maskey will be on later this month, and we're going to yes. talk about fashions and how even though they all wore black. Okay, but is she going to talk about, like, anything to do with men's fashion? Or yes, just, okay. of course. We will Excellent. never leave you out, Derek. You won't right. allow it. I've been told not to wear black. They tell me to wear blue. We'll ask Katie. We'll ask Katie. And What's you know, your black you know, guys the, wear? You know the color of the year is lilac. There you and have it. You're so already there. there. Okay. Um, I'll have to go invest in a new sweater wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Katie first oh, to make sure. It. All right. And then let's talk about sports for a second. Ah, roll tie. Yes. In overtime. Oh, my gosh. Now, who were you voting for? Or were you watching Honestly, that? No, I've been telling people that Georgia was going to handle their business. Nothing against Alabama, but I just felt like Georgia was going to do it. And I felt like justified all the way up. Until the end of the game. Oh my gosh. I was for Alabama. Don't exactly ask me why. I don't have no rhyme or reason. Okay. But when I'm for a team, that's just the team I'm for. Right. And I was proud of them. I was happy for them. The little scoocher that missed the, um, I don't know, was he the kicker? Yeah. That missed that one point. I felt bad for him. And then they came back, that little dude. Uh, it was amazing. So yay for that. Well, that's great. But you know, we commend Alabama. Roll Tide. Yes. If 
you're the best, you're the best. You just keep moving. That's right. That's why you never stop trying. Never. I love that. Don't give up. Well, you know, that leads me into some things we're going to talk about today with you about resolutions. We're going to talk about it a little later. Yeah. So today we're going to bring you that. We're also going to have Imagination Station here. Ah, that's going to be fun. They are always fun. And then we have our friend Jen coming to talk about cyber Things that we should teach our kids and maybe even ourselves about cyberbullying or Excellent. the way it all works out. I look forward to it. So that's what we have today. Well, good. Listen, we'll be right back with some exciting stuff for you for the rest of the show. I can't believe you didn't watch it. Like the whole world is I didn't even know it was What on. are you doing? Working, know, exercising? I didn't know it was on. It's me, Cheryl. Look, I am thrilled, not just because you see champagne up here, <laughs> but because Dan from Imagination Station yes. is with us again. Hi. Hi, how are you? Great. Happy New Year. Oh, thank you. You too? Thank you. I, you know, did you do a lot of champagne over the New Year? Um, I did not, but I did get a chance to learn a lot about the science of champagne. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you guys today. We're excited. You know, a lot of people have this stuff around the house at the holidays, but mm -hmm. um, sometimes you don't think about the safety precautions that you need to take when you're opening like a bottle of champagne. Uh, absolutely. You see people like pushing their thumbs up against it and like launching them across the room. And that can get a little dangerous because there's actually a lot of pressure built up from that carbon dioxide. Because yeah, that's why we always hear it, if you do it right or if it's a good bottle, does it go pop? Right. Like a big loudness from all the... Right, you don't want that because you want to keep all those bubbles inside, okay. right? That's why you pay so much money for champagne. That's right. Okay, you want to keep those bubbles inside. Now, I was going to show you guys how to open it properly. Okay. So, you see people like shaking it up and popping it across the room. But that's right. not very safe. Uh, it actually, this cork can come out of there at about 50 miles per hour. And if it's like sitting on the table in front of you, all right, that's faster. If it hit, were to hit you in the eye, then you can blink. Oh so you have goodness. to be very careful. Yes. Okay. But I'm going to show you the proper way. What you want to do is you want to set it down on a nice hard surface, okay. grab the cork, mm -hmm. and you just want to twist the bottle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't move the cork. Hold on to the cork, control the cork, and twist the bottle. Oh. And you get a nice, safe opening oh, of I a champagne bottle. I have to tell you, I love that sound. <laughs> okay. Now, that's great. You can do it nice and safely at home. Okay. But there's a little bit more fun way. It's not quite as safe. That's why we're wearing some safety mm -hmm. glasses here. I okay. Have fun to open a champagne bottle, okay? It's called sabering, okay? Sabering. And champagne bottles, they have a, lot, a weakness, okay? And we're gonna use that weakness to our advantage to open it up in a fun way. Okay. Okay, they actually have a seam that runs right down the middle, okay? okay? And that. all the way up to the top right here, this lip is called the annulus, okay? We're learning some wine terms, yes. okay? And between this seam and where it meets the annulus is the weakest point of the bottle, and we're going to exploit that this today. Is, listen, to this is why bottles. I love Imagination Station. Okay. Because you learn no matter what you're doing. I so love this. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the protective cage here. Six half twists to open it up. That's another little fact. Now, to do this, we're going to use something called a saber. It's called sabering. So I brought my own saber with me. Now, it's not sharp. Okay. I can run it across my hand like that. It's actually a blunted saber. But Napoleon, back in the day, okay, actually, around his soldiers, actually popularized that, popularized those. Really? Okay, they were riding their horses, and then they couldn't be bothered to take out the cork, so they would just pop it off of the bottle and, you know, go along drinking their uh, champagne. But I thought I would do a little demonstration, and maybe you can give it a try. How about that? Okay. okay, so what is we want to Derek, do... Is that why Derek ran out of the room? <laughs> you want to give me a knife and a... <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my saber here. I'm going to run it right along that seam that I showed you guys. Okay. And it's going to hit this annulus and I'm going to follow all the way through and hopefully it's going to send that cork flying. Now if you're over here in this direction, you might want to be aware that the cork is flying towards you. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do it. All right, you guys ready? I'm, I'm, All right, I'm let's excited. let's open this bottle. Okay. Three, two, one. There you go. Okay. Now you can see it locked it clean off. It, we have a nice clean break there. Oh, I totally and I, we did. did not lose all those precious bubbles no, that we it, have. But it took that. But it took the, the top part, the annulus, off. right out. I actually have an example here. It can be very sharp, so you have to be careful. But it actually took that top piece of glass off with it. 
It when did. We open it, when we open it up. I love Isn't that amazing? It's, it is. A, I have to tell you, I've never opened the champagne. Would you like to give it a try? I, I will give it a try. Okay, so. If everybody feels safe around me. What we're going, what we're going ahead and. <laughs> Wait a second, the production team goes and just shook their the way. head. Like, no, they do not trust me. I'm no, like, I think <laughs> you can do it. I think you can do it. I'm going to remove this. Grab your saber there. We're going to come back this way again. Everyone's see. going to uh, be ready to go here. Why does David Okay, run? so you're going to hold it with your left hand. Oh, Like okay. this. Okay. Yep, yep. Hold it right there. And remember, you're going to run with the back of it like this. Oh. Follow that line and follow all the way through. So you want to move it, tilt it up a little bit, and then follow all the way through. I don't feel like I can you ready? enough for this. Three, two, one. You got to go a little bit faster than that. Okay. It's okay, go ahead. Three, okay, Turn two, it up like this okay. and just slide it along that line. Okay. Three, two, one, go. See, I'm not, I don't think I'm Alright, one more try. Okay. If not, Three, two, one, go. Alright, very good, very good. We got a little bit of that I feel glass like it's off a there. Job. So that's that's okay. You know what? I have another bottle here. Should we do one more time just for Can uh, we do one more time? Can we see Derek? Come on in just a second. I got glasses. Can Derek? you see if Derek can do it, please? I've got some safety job. glasses for you up here, sir, if you're interested. Or he grabbed some. Okay, go ahead and put those on. Now, this is important. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll, I feel like it wasn't explaining it properly. So, we take it, you see this line? I do. You're gonna hold this at about like a 45 degree angle, just like this, and you're gonna slide it all the way down and follow all the way through. I got you. Okay? You can do it. I got you. Have you done right. it like this before? No, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you wanna hold Derek, it underneath. Make me proud. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. There That's you what go. I do. <laughs> There you go, and you got that nice glass of wine, or a glass of champagne, champagne here, and All we right. can go ahead and pour it out now. If you are doing this, which I don't recommend you doing at home, mm -hmm. okay? If you are doing this, if you pour out a glass, here you go. Thank you you. want to check the bottom for any green glass that's inside, because uh, most of the glass will be expelled by that carbon dioxide gas coming out. I got one for you, sir. I own for myself, of course. Of course. And most of that gas will be, or the, that glass will be expelled, mm -hmm. but. You should have it perfectly open. Yeah. Bottle of champagne. I think you both did it very, very well. I would need to practice. Just a little practice, that's all. You can get the hang of it. Yes. Well, <laughs> thank you to Imagination Station. You're absolutely welcome. Everybody can welcome. check out their website. You always have great things yep. for family, interesting. We love it. Yeah, imaginationstationsleader.org. We love it. Come okay. Check it out. Well, happy New Year. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to the Glass City Grind. You know, it's me, Cheryl. I'm also thrilled to be joined with now a friend and a great person all around, Jen Wakefield. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, one of the things um, that we all know, we just came through a holiday where most people exchange gifts or bought gifts. Mm -hmm. So we brought our kids, we bought them, a lot of us new iPhones or new um, any gadgets with the internet. That can also be a problem. So we brought you on today because you have a special event coming up where you can give tips to children and to parents. So we want to talk about that. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah, so first of all, when is your event? It is January 27th. It'll be at Levis Commons at the Rave Theaters. Yes, there are our friends over there at Levis Commons. Shout out to them. So tell us first, you're going to have, um, it's not just for the kids, it's also for the parents. It's actually primarily for the parents. Okay. Um, we'll probably do a future event specific to the teens and preteens, but this one is mostly for parents. Okay. And community uh, individuals that are like-minded or have similar interests. Okay, so I don't want to miss out. Actually, I know one of the things you're going to do, because it caught my eye too, I do have an 18-year-old, which is hard for me to say, and I have a 14-year-old daughter. So you do have, I thought it was great that you had, I'm going to call it a class or a workshop, and you have, who are your keynote speakers? Because I thought it was interesting that even a former FBI person was going to be there to help give us tips. Yeah, so um, it will be myself and a couple other like-minded community organizations, such as a Suicide Prevention Coalition, mm. because we will be talking about cyberbullying. Um, a professor at Lord's University, which is a former FBI agent and police officer, um, and a mother of, of people in college. So um, her and then another person that has an organization that focuses on anti-bullying and peer-to-peer -peer, um, responsibility for taking care of each other and just talking about um, the risks and prevention. Mm -hmm. It sounds great, like you got a good group of people to come in because there's a lot of ways 
um, that whether it's cyberbullying or even one of the things with January being Human Trafficking Month, mm -hmm. they can kind of slide in on our kids' inbox or somehow they connect to them mm -hmm. um, through social media. So that too will be discussed. We'll talk about social media, Craigslist, mm. checking up on your children and their browser history. Mm -hmm. Maybe risk factors or warning signs. Are they clearing their browser? Mm. Are they downloading these apps that appear to be a certain kind of app, but it's definitely something to hide things? And that is, you know, I remember, this was probably two years ago, there was the calculator one. Mm -hmm. It looks like if you looked at your kid's phone, it looks like a calculator, mm -hmm. like they had the calculator app but it was really the second calculator app, mm -hmm. and that one really led into something different. Yeah, there's apps out there um, where children think, you know, oh, I'm sending a Snapchat, and it disappears after 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. There are apps that exist to capture mm -hmm. those photos without identifying that somebody's doing it. So, I mean, maybe a child or a teen, we don't want to think like that, or sending things inappropriate, well, it's just gonna go away. It's not gonna go away. It could ruin college opportunities, yes. job opportunities, it really, Honestly, if it's on online, even if you delete it, it's there forever right. in some capacity. So we want to teach parents, you know, what are the warning signs? How can you prevent this? How can you approach it in a conversation that doesn't stop your children from trusting you um, and things like that? So well, it's really going to be tips. really well-rounded um, and very informative and hopefully will lead to future a community events. Right, and I do want to talk more about that because I think our kids don't even understand, um, you know, what can happen to them or mm -hmm. if they're receiving messages or I, I just think they're invincible. They think they're invincible. Mm -hmm. And so these tips are going to be great for parents to have tools then to start a conversation and maybe help them. But we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to come back and make sure we hit all the topics and everybody knows where this is at, when this is, because this can help everyone. Okay, so awesome. we'll be right back with Jen right after this. If it matters, if it's good, if it's hard to find and worth holding on to, if it's built to last, built on trust, you'll probably find it here. This is a place people choose to call home because we believe that it matters where you make your living, where you make your home, where you make your life. Make it here, Toledo. Hey, and welcome back. I'm still here with Jen. We're talking about social media. We're talking about the event you have coming up, which say the date again. It's January 27th at Levis Commons. And It'll be in the morning. Okay, so it's going to be at Levis Commons. We have this event going on. This is really important information for the children to know and for parents giving tools. Mm -hmm. One of the things I wanted to talk about real quick is the cyber bullying. Mm -hmm. So, that can happen at any age. I, I think it can even happen for adults. But do you have any tips on how to handle it if you know your child's being bullied? I feel like bullying with young ones, which honestly, um, it just blows my mind, but recently we've heard of like 9 and 12 year olds completing suicide over cyberbullying, and it just grabs you in the heart because you think, that's so young, how is that child even aware of you know, doing something like that. Um, but as parents, you know, my daughter is very young, so I'm not there yet, but it, we do have a responsibility to, you know, teach our children how to respect people that might be different than them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of times it is a learned behavior. Yes. Uh, I, nobody is born hating someone that's different than them. Um, we have to be aware as parents, you know, how we're treating other people, um, how we're, what kind of example we are setting. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, you really should keep tabs. If they don't want you looking at their social media, then that, that's a problem. Yes. Um, I do have friends that say, hey, you know, random check. I pay for that cell phone. Oh, yeah. It over. Out of the blue. I, yeah. I, I and, have done that. And it's it, been a scary moment for me when I've asked my 18-year-old son, let me see your phone. <laughs> well, you know. But, and, but you have to do it. And so many people, especially with like preteens, are like, well, I don't want them to not trust me or I don't want them to not look at me. That's the same. But you're, you're a parent. You're not a friend. But well, that's you easier. This. I, I say that I've gone through my daughter's Snapchat or her text or whatever, and I see that someone's bullying her. Mm -hmm. As a parent, will you be able to give tips like, hey, number one, go to the parent. Number two, mm -hmm. go to the school. Because there's such an awareness now that people are hurting themselves, mm -hmm. are really going into a depression, 
over people being mean and social media so out there. Yeah, well, you know what's really cool these days? Schools are very aware and they have a certain responsibility. So they actually have a lot of like peer-to-peer -peer organizations. So um, with my position with the Lucas County Suicide Prevention, part of that is going into the schools, talking to the students, and we're actually giving them resources, uh, materials. We even have an app, okay. you know, that helps, you know, if you're having these kind of thoughts or um, that could lead from that. But honestly, it's really cool. The schools and the counselors have really great resources. And if we don't have a direct answer, we're always going to find the resources for that parent and that child. And even if that means a sit down mm -hmm. and a conversation, um, do you know the long-term effects of this, what you think is a little bit of fun? Right. Um, and, you know, giving the big picture without right. intimidating or, you know, making them think this is all my fault or, you know, whatever. Right, but exactly. We, we just have a lot of really cool resources. Right. Well, I know that you are an abundance of information, and I know this is very passionate for you. And I, I as a parent, I'm so excited that you're doing this and glad. I want to make sure um, we have the flyer up here. And can you tell everybody, too, like how to find you on Facebook, what they can do to go to this, remind them again? Because mm -hmm. this is very important, so we want to well, make sure people know. Um, the Love is Commons uh, Facebook page has promoted it. Um, it also has its own cyber safety class event page with a link to register for it. Um, there is a $10 cost. If somebody says, I can't afford it, we're going to allow them to come anyway because it's very important. That's amazing. But, um, yes, it is on Facebook and a few different places, and they can always look for me and, and message me personally, and I'll take care of them. Okay, all right. Well, make sure you get your information on that. I know that this is going to be great, and it's well worth it. So we'll be right back after this. Now, welcome back. We're excited that you're here. Now, I just gotta have a little little pre-game statement here, just to let you know where we are. Uh, we you saw us with Imagination Station. So, oh my God! So we have been a little uh, happy. liberal. Happy. Happy. We're happy because we finished off with Imagination <laughs> Station. Left. Yeah. Michelle, stop putting okay. your phone up. Okay, I'm sorry. We gotta talk about New Year's resolutions. Well, this is one of my just. Try to stay off my phone as much. Okay? Is that is that one of your resolutions? It's, you know, I don't always say resolutions. I do the goals, but they mean the same basically, don't okay, they? Set up goals. So. Set up. Goals. I'm trying not to be so engaged with this. And so how are you planning this. on being successful with that? Okay, listen. I need I need help. You I'm, know what? I, this is my problem. Okay, so let's say for <laughs> instance, like, okay. <laughs> because you know we were going to do money tips, but let's just do how to be successful at your resolutions. And yeah. here's the reason why we're talking about this. Ninety percent of people abandon, completely let go of their resolutions by the 15th of January. Like, and to me, I'm just Two getting weeks. started. Ex well, like, that's like within three days of yeah. this airing. Two weeks, they're, they're done, right? Mm. So, so here's what Cheryl needs to do if she really wants to stop checking her phone as much. This has been a phenomenon across the world. Everybody has been, been ingrained to check that device on a constant basis. Here's what you need to do. And here's what I do, just to let you know. The first thing I do is I set my notifications on my email so that they only come in like every, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Okay? You can do that? So I don't, yes, you can set them, right? The next thing is that you set designated times to go check your social media. So for me, I don't even check mine during my business hours. Now, I that thought you were ignoring me. <laughs> But what I do is most of the programs or most of the social media sites have where you can set to publish something at a specific time. Okay. So I'll load mine in. So people think that I'm on social media, but I'm All not because it's posting. So they think, oh, he must be online, but I'm really not. I'm working. That's what I do. He works all the time. Right? So what you need to do is incorporate that. 
and then have windows, kind of like a smoke break. Remember people used to take smoke breaks? Mm -hmm. So instead of a smoke break, maybe you take a social, social media, media break. break. Because the thing about social media, for me, it could be checking in with my kids, or it's a stress relief. But you're or, not you checking know, in with your kids on I, social media. You know I love to they engage with the you. people. No, But wait, no. I want to say The people I keep you distracted. You. For being successful. This is why I love you. This is why you're part of my team, part of my life, my inner circle. Derek has the tips. If I can say right now, mm -hmm. one of the things we've talked about, because we are friends, believe yes. it or not, people, is that we've talked in the in the past about me as a female, I have all these goals, whether it's fitness goals, financial goals, parenting goals, business goals, and you like look at me and you go, <laughs> let's take, let's start with something that basic. Right. Instead of just saying, hey, you're not gonna touch social media. Let's plan and see. All right, you can touch you're it. You're very good at this. Strat, so listen to his tips. Man so now listen, here. I was talking. It's the only time I'll say it. <laughs> listen to Derek. I was talking to Terrence, <laughs> and yes. he was telling me about some of his goals, and we Where really ought to bring his butt on. Wait a second. Terrence. Wait, Terrence. Terrence. No, Terrence. No, come on. Don't come be on. shy. I'm going to give him a chair. Yes, We're give him a chair. Give him a chair. So if you guys don't know who Terrence is, should, Terrence is a production team member. He's come also like our travel expert. You'll be seeing more of him this year. Hi, Terrence. <laughs> Hi, Terrence. Hey, Hi, Terrence. hey, 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 hey. You're happy to be wait, here, aren't you? Oh, this is exciting. But wait, before we go any further, I am, we, we, let's take a quick break. Okay. So Terrence looks a little nervous, but let's let him get prepared because <laughs> we put him on the spot. <laughs> so we're going to take a break. We're going to come right back. And then Derek's going to continue about your resolutions, your goals, and how to keep you motivated and not give up in just a couple of days. So we'll be right back. Perfect. At the conveniently located Stabridge Suites, Toledo, Perrysburg, Rossford, you can choose from a studio, one bedroom, or two bedroom suite, complete with sofa bed and full kitchen, providing you with all the comfort and warmth of home. Don't forget the great amenities as well. Call 419-872-3700 to book your room. And remember, we're hiring. All right, welcome back. Stop playing with Terrence. His shirt's fine. <laughs> now listen, we want to know, Terrence, yes. what do you, do you set resolutions at the beginning of the year or do you just set goals? What do you do? Um, you know, I think this year I've decided to do lifestyle changes okay. more than resolutions okay. um, because like you were saying earlier, um, resolutions don't last, but lifestyle changes, I believe. Well, what's the difference in your opinion between a resolution which is like an affirmation statement hmm. and a lifestyle change. So like every year, like weight gain or weight loss or whatever. Oh, you want to gain say, some weight? I, now, no, there were years wait a where Chris, wait a might, Chris might want to gain some muscle. Wait a second. He wants, he wants to gain some here. muscle. Chris is 19 and he's <laughs> young, thin, and slim. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's not happening with me right now. So, okay. For me, it's more of, you know, instead of me saying, hey, I want to lose five pounds or I want to lose 10 pounds, um, I want to eat healthier. So okay. now I'm changing my, let's say, I don't want to say diet, but my, my Yo, eating habits. Oh, this is right. my eating habits. Right. Right. So. Now, I would suggest to you strongly that inside of your lifestyle changes, I want to eat healthier. Make sure that you are making that measurable. Mm -hmm. So you say not just healthier, because healthier might mean I'm not eating Chick-fil-A four times a week anymore, just two. I told you that so, privately, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to set those lifestyle changes with some definition. Like, I am going to eat these things, or yes. more importantly, not these things. Yes. Well, Give good. me an example. That's good. One of the things that I did this year was I said, anytime I'm going to eat cracking, right? I'm going to take a picture of it. Now, anybody that knows me knows I never post pictures of food. Never. Right? I never it's, like pictures of food. It's like he doesn't even food, eat food. Right? If money ain't in it. Yeah, if I money's just... not, I'm, I don't like pictures of people when they show their meals. Yes. But I'm going to post any picture of any crap that I eat. So if I go get a Whopper with extra cheese, Ooh, I'm no going to post it, which means that I need to be accountable yes. to everybody that knows yes. my lifestyle, yes. my brand, yes. that I'm getting ready to, to throw some stuff off. Right. right? <laughs> exactly. Because it's going to make me think a little bit more. Yeah, wow. it is. So, it really is. So that's, that's, and that's healthy. And that's, absolutely. And that's being, uh, being accountable to somebody or having an accountability a partner right. is really going to help you get further in what you're doing, whether well, that's business. Your your partner is LB. She she yes. kicks she some is. booty over Hi, there. Lindsay. Yes. I know you. Hi, Lindsay. Lindsay, is Lindsay we're going to see amazing. you. Amazing. Yes. Girl, I know you from back in the day. I'm so proud of you. 
I'm very proud yes. of Lindsay. Lindsay Home just got a new, new facility. facility. Yes. Um, uh, LB circuit training is phenomenal. Um, I, man, you can't mention too much. She's got the pants. Okay, yeah. So, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm doing circuit training. How about that? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Now, listen. We have had an amazing show. We pop bottles. I yeah, mean, yes. literally, we pop some bottles. I didn't Cheryl really tried. Pop. I didn't really pop, but it's because I wanted to man She pops. Me. Oh, you want okay. to man do it? She pops. We learned about what cybersecurity. Yes. yes. How amazing. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna tell it's my incredible. side. I will be there. I will be there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing. We, it's needed. For sure. Absolutely. And you're going to be able to take, you're going to take your daughter to that or you're just going to go yourself? I need to get my tips for her. Yeah. Because I don't want to. But what I think is great, if I can say right now, is the now giving us tips and helping us regain no matter what resolutions or goals you're making. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like for me, just because I, you know, I do know Terrence and he's part of the team and we've mentioned Chris, he's younger, his goals are different, Terrence's goals are different, my goals are different. The biggest deal is to not give up right. within the first two or three Absolutely. weeks. Yes. Absolutely, but make them, because everybody cancels, right? They already said that. They already stopped at the 15th. Make it digestible just to today. What do I need to do today, today. Okay. to be yeah. successful?